a push at the State House for criminal justice reform. Leading today's rally before a critical vote in the House of Representatives was a group of faith leaders. The bill would eliminate mandatory minimum sentences for some nonviolent drug offenses. There would also be provisions to reduce the odds of recidivism. Too many people who have made mistakes and deserve second, third, and perhaps even fourth chances are hindered from their own ability to um, become returning citizens, um, to get jobs, to um, find housing, because we don't have a criminal justice system, we have a system of punishment. Prisons are filled with people who are poor, people who have mental health issues, people who are suffering from substance abuse issues. So it's very important for us uh, to take all of those things into consideration. Yes, it's important to hold people accountable for the things they've done, but it's also for uh, important for us to be accountable uh, to the greater society to make sure that we have healthy, whole individuals returning back into society. No one wants to pay the costs of our criminal justice system, but in the long run, it is just more humane and just, and it also costs far less to the Commonwealth to bear these costs than to put them on the backs of our already punished people. Locking people up in institutions and then burdening them with collateral consequences like a fine and fee, a criminal record, does the opposite of helping people reverse that isolation. So in order to solve this opioid epidemic, we really do need to pass comprehensive criminal justice reform, including sentencing reform and getting rid of mandatory minimum sentences for nonviolent drug offenders. Even after they have served their sentence, we end up doing things, uh, taking licenses away, uh, imposing fees and fines, uh, in many cases putting unnecessary restrictions because we're perhaps still angry. The problem is that isn't in our interest and it's not in the interest of the person who's trying to come out and put their life in a different direction. If the bill's approved this week by the House, that would set the stage for a vote next year on a compromise with the reform bill approved by the state Senate.